Welcome everyone to another lesson on MRI imaging principles. This video discusses the concept of relaxation in MRI image production and how technologists use relaxation techniques to affect image contrast. It is important to understand the concept of relaxation because of its relationship to image contrast. Contrast refers to the ability to differentiate between structures in an image. The inherent properties of different tissues in the body determine their brightness on the MRI image based on how quickly their hydrogen nuclei relax after an RF pulse. So let's look at relaxation. As you remember, when a patient is placed inside an MRI scanner, the useful hydrogen nuclei inside the patient align with the pull of the surrounding magnet. Then, the technologist sends a radio frequency or RF pulse at the Larmor frequency of hydrogen into the body. The RF energy is absorbed through a process called excitation and causes resonance to occur in the body's hydrogen nuclei. Relaxation, then, is defined as the process of the hydrogen nuclei losing the energy they absorbed during excitation. You can remember it like this. After being really excited about something, your heart is racing and you are often full of energy and need to relax to return to your normal heart rate and resting state. As the hydrogen nuclei in different tissues return to their resting state, these positively charged particles are still spinning and producing small magnetic fields. As these excited hydrogen nuclei relax, their magnetic fields cross the receiver coil and induce a voltage. The greater the voltage, the brighter the tissue on the final image. There are two types of relaxation that occur during magnetic resonance imaging, spin lattice and spin spin. These types of relaxation are synonymous with T1 recovery and T2 decay, which are the processes of energy loss during relaxation along the longitudinal and transverse planes. It is important to note that these two types of relaxation happen simultaneously but independently of each other. Spin lattice relaxation, also known as T1 recovery or T1 relaxation, is the recovery of longitudinal magnetization or the process by which the nuclei give up their energy to their surrounding environment or lattice. Lattice refers to the environment around the protons in your body's atoms with which these protons interact as they return to their normal state after being excited by the MRI's radio frequency pulse. Think of it this way. A patient lying down in an MRI scanner has their body positioned along the longitudinal plane, and the static external magnetic field of the scanner, called B sub zero, has aligned the magnetic moments of hydrogen protons along this plane. When an RF pulse is sent, these protons are excited, reducing the influence of B sub zero, and the protons are pushed 90 degrees into the transverse plane. As the protons lose the energy from the pulse to the lattice, they recover or increase their magnetization and return to the longitudinal plane. Spin-spin relaxation, also known as T2 decay or T2 relaxation, refers to the loss or decay of magnetization of the magnetic moments in hydrogen nuclei in the transverse plane caused by the interaction between the magnetic fields of neighboring nuclei. The RF pulse causes the spins of the hydrogen nuclei to synchronize or to be in phase with one another, resulting in increased magnetization in the transverse plane. When the energy of the RF pulse is removed, the spins begin forcing neighboring spins out of sync, or dephase, and this dephasing causes a loss of coherent magnetization in the transverse plane. To consider T2 decay or spin-spin relaxation, picture a table filled with tops. The table is the longitudinal plane, and when you have a top spinning upright at a 90-degree angle, it is in the transverse plane. When you spin the tops, you're applying energy to them, like the RF pulse does to the hydrogen nuclei in MRI. And for a period of time, the tops are all spinning, more or less, in sync. This coherent spin increases their transverse magnetization. However, when they begin bumping into each other, 
This interaction slows their individual spins and they begin to get out of sync. Those tops are the hydrogen nuclei, which, like the tops, lose their coherent transverse magnetization as their spins dephase. So to put it all together, let's continue with the tops example. When the tops are laying on their sides on the table, they represent the hydrogen nuclei in the patient's body aligned longitudinally along B sub zero or the static external magnetic field of the MRI scanner. When you pick up the top and spin it, you are applying energy like the RF pulse, which is pulling them away from the longitudinal plane and making them spin in the transverse plane. The process by which the tops lose the energy you applied and return to lying flat on the table is T1 recovery or spin lattice relaxation of the magnetic moments in the hydrogen nuclei. It is determined by their interaction with the surrounding environment or lattice. For the tops, this lattice is air and friction from the table. For the nuclei, it is the surrounding molecules in the body. It is called recovery because as the nuclei lose energy, they recover their longitudinal magnetization. The process by which the tops begin bumping into each other and lose the energy you applied and their spins fall out of sync is T2 decay or spin-spin relaxation of the magnetic moments in the hydrogen nuclei. It is determined by their interactions with their neighboring nuclei. As their spins dephase, the lack of coherence causes a reduction in magnetization in the transverse plane, which is why it is called decay. These concepts are important to understand because all of the tissues in the body have inherent T1 and T2 properties based on the density of hydrogen nuclei and their molecular composition. Fat, for instance, has a high density of hydrogen nuclei and loose chains of carbon and hydrogen atoms giving it high energy transfer efficiency. Water, on the other hand, has a lower density of hydrogen nuclei and they are bonded in a more rigid structure which causes it to transfer energy less efficiently. Therefore, its nuclei take longer to dephase, giving it a longer spin-spin relaxation time. The advent of higher field strength MRI systems, for example, three Tesla scanners, has significantly enhanced image quality and resolution. However, these advancements also impact the relaxation times of tissues. Generally, higher field strengths result in longer T1 relaxation times across all tissues. But the effects on T2 times are more complex and require adjustments to be made to compensate. The increased signal-to-noise ratio at higher field strengths allows for better visualization of tissue contrasts and finer details, but it also requires adjustments in scan parameters to optimize image quality. In summary, Relaxation is a fundamental principle of MRI imaging. Relaxation refers to the loss of energy in hydrogen nuclei after receiving an RF pulse and consists of spin lattice or T1 recovery and spin-spin or T2 decay relaxation processes which happen simultaneously but independently of one another. T1 recovery refers to the process of nuclei increasing their magnetization in the longitudinal plane and T2 decay refers to nuclei decreasing their magnetization in the transverse plane. By understanding how the molecular composition and density of the hydrogen nuclei in different tissues influence their relaxation times, technologists can manipulate MRI parameters to highlight specific tissue characteristics, enhancing diagnostic accuracy. These techniques are impacted by higher field strength MRI systems requiring a need for careful adjustment of scan parameters to optimize image quality and resolution.